America would accept the surrender of Japan in the Pacific in 1945 with devastating blasts from two atomic bombs. But the long and dangerous process of purifying uranium would take its toll on knowing American citizens. It seems as though the Americans had made the sacrifice on their own home soil in order to construct some of the most powerful bombs. As nuclear power continues to be utilized as a means of turning on the lights, many have to wonder how this might affect the environment we live in. From the power plant storing the most radioactive waste to the nuclear waste adventure trail, here are the most radioactive places in the US. Number 11, Reed Kepler Park. Radioactive waste was being dumped next to a park with a swimming pool in western Chicago for over 40 years. A lot of the waste was sand-like material made from broken up pieces of thorium, radium, and uranium, which are all radioactive elements. These are known as mill tailings, and they were released into the environment by the Rare Earths facility, which opened up by Lindsay Light. During the second global conflict, it made other deadly chemicals such as hydrofluoric acid, in 1991, elevated cancer cases were reported throughout western Chicago and eventually got on what's known as a Superfund National Priority List. The University of Chicago was chosen as a research lab utilizing various radioactive materials during the Manhattan Project, so you have to wonder if some of those were placed here as well. The Chicago Pile 1 was the world's first nuclear reactor and was made of bricks like you see here. Number 10. McGuire Air Force Base during the Cold War, America was eager to have some of the best nuclear arms of any country in the world. McGuire Air Force Base was seriously contaminated from weapons-grade plutonium in 1960. Just located south of Trenton, New Jersey, this was home to Launch Shelter 204 that stored nuclear intercontinental ballistic missiles. An unexpected explosion took place that caused a fire in the nuclear tip Bombark missile. The fire burned for over 15 minutes and was extinguished with water. The result is the radioactive material and the water flow throughout the Air Force Base. Some pieces of debris were found a half a mile away from the explosion. It could have been much worse considering how close it was to populated areas. The contaminated area stretches an estimated 7 acres and is closed off with a barbed wire fence, so don't even think about coming here. Number 9. The Farallon Islands you might be a little bit shocked when you find out that less than 20 miles away off the coast of a U.S. major city lies a nuclear waste graveyard. It's considered to be a natural wildlife refuge, but the federal government certainly didn't see it that way over 50 years ago. Between the years of 1946 and 1970, the ocean around the island was polluted with nuclear and other toxic waste. There's an estimated 47,500 barrels left at the bottom of the ocean here, and removing them poses great risks. Underwater expeditions have shown that many barrels from around the world have bursted open and are missing the radioactive waste. At the time, they thought the ocean was so huge that any radioactive material would be diluted with the vast amount of water that surrounds it. No one knows for sure what might happen to this area. There's also a bunch of sharks around here, so hopefully no mutant radioactive sharks will start problems. Number 8. Church Rock Uranium Mill Spill this site is home to one of the worst uranium spills in the world. In July 1979, over a thousand tons of solid radioactive waste, 93 million gallons of acidic radioactive waste and other pollutants flowed downstream into the Navajo Nation Indian Reserve. The local tribes used the river that was contaminated for irrigation and livestock. The contaminated groundwater of the area and the river is still contaminated to this day. The Navajo Nation won the president to make the area a federal disaster site, but they refused and operation of nuclear mills still continued anyways. 175,500 cubic feet of radium contaminated soil had to be removed. It was stored at an off-site disposal area. Finally, in 2008, the US Congress approved a five-year plan to clean up the mess, but many still feel as though this was some form of environmental racism. Number 7. The Hanford Site One of the many sites across the U.S. that's become contaminated due to the Manhattan Project, the Hanford Site was still the first full-scale plutonium reactor in the world. The best plutonium found in the country was put to use here and responsible for creating the necessary ingredient to construct the first nuclear bombs. They continued to produce nuclear weapons here until the Cold War, and many of them still were not tested. Problems in this facility have caused much of the groundwater to still be polluted to this day. 
It contains many hazardous materials within its walls as well. At the end of the Cold War, 53 million gallons of high-level radioactive waste were stored underground near this site, and it's still believed that they are actually leaking into the groundwater. Underground storage tanks were discovered to be bursted open. If any more waste was let into the Columbia River, it would become too contaminated for purification. Families who originally worked in the plant didn't realize the river near the site was contaminated and were swimming there. In any case, some believe the cancer rates in Washington are elevated due to this site. Number 6. Oak Ridge, Tennessee The city of Oak Ridge, Tennessee wouldn't exist if it wasn't for the Manhattan Project. In 1942, the farmers in the area began getting knocks on their door from the federal government asking anyone here to leave the area. The town grew to 75,000 people and many of the scientists and engineers who moved here had no idea what was truly going on. Oak Ridge became the Manhattan Project's secret city and 60,000 acres of land was acquired for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. After the war was over, much of the town remained under civilian control, but not everything here is all peachy. Tennessee officials had kept radioactive waste details away from the public and many still feel as though the harmful materials are still being dumped here at landfills. Megan Fox was born in Oak Ridge, which might explain her messed up right thumb. Ew. Number 5. Walden Springs Nuclear Venture Trail How would you like to take your kids to the top of a nuclear waste site? Sounds like fun, right? Yes, this is the real name of this place. A recreational trail for kids near a high school used to actually be the same road where nuclear waste was transported. A weapons factory had closed down on this exact location, which contained roughly 1.48 cubic yards of TNT, radioactive waste, mercury, asbestos, and contaminated sludge. The hill that people walk up is currently covering radioactive and other harmful waste, and most people don't even realize this. Doesn't seem like such a fun place to go for an adventure now, does it? Much radioactive waste has been placed in the area near the city of St. Louis, and large amounts of trace particles can be found in groundwater. The Weldon Spring Chemical Plant was responsible for processing much uranium. Restoring the land here has been a top priority, and the U.S. federal government turned much of the contaminated land into a nature preserve. The primary toxins found around the Weldon Springs Nuclear Venture Trail are uranium, thorium, radium, and some believe it could be radioactive for several thousands of years. Number 4. Bernald, Ohio during the beginning of the Cold War, the U.S. needed only the best and the most pure uranium, which is ultimately the most lethal. Ohio became a state that constructed missiles and produced radioactive materials which were eventually released into the public. Large waste pits were constructed which held on to 475,000 tons of waste, which included uranium, thorium, and other dangerous materials. A few of the pits were about the size of a football field, while others were about the size of a baseball diamond. It just so happened to be built over an aquifer, which would supply the large amount of water that was needed for the uranium mill. Much of that aquifer used to supply the water to the city of Cincinnati. In 1984, the secret was out, and the residents of the nearby area were completely outraged, demanding a $4.4 billion cleanup. Number 3. Yucca Mountain no other type of waste has caused so much panic and fear among the citizens than radioactive waste. Can Yucca Mountain in Nevada really handle the large amount of nuclear waste produced by the U.S.? Spent nuclear fuel, which is used to generate nuclear power plants and to create nuclear weapons, are being stored in the National Nevada Security Site, not too far away from the infamous Area 51. Far away from any population, it was chosen due to its isolation. Its construction required 40 miles of underground waste and placement tunnels, but due to the area's seismic activity, this might not be the best idea. The dump was shut down for a little bit, but Congress has recently been pushing in 2018 to have it reopen. Number 2. Palo Verde One of the most monitored and heavily guarded nuclear power plants in the U.S. is the Palo Verde Power Plant in Arizona. It's home to the second, third, and fourth largest nuclear power generators in the U.S., and we better hope nothing goes wrong here. Over the years, there have been several safety concerns with the power plant. It uses reprocessed waste from other big power plants across the country and lacks a source of water for the cooling towers, which makes it a little bit unique in a sense. It generates 11 billion kilowatts an hour, and not everything has gone smoothly here. In 1993, hundreds of gallons of contaminated water were found to be leaking from a stream generator. With so much isolation and so much hazardous materials, who knows what they're really up to over here. And number one, Millstone, Connecticut. 
the largest power plant in New England, the Millstone Power Plant Station also has an extremely large amount of nuclear waste on site. As of 1995, the amount of high-level radioactive waste at this site exceeded 1,055 tons. It's also been known for having some problems as well. A seriously scary search took place when two 12-foot radioactive fuel rods just mysteriously disappeared. There seemed to be only two possibilities. Either the rods were still somewhere in the fuel pool or they had been accidentally shipped out of state. The site also uses uranium pellets, which are about the size of hamster pellets. Just one pellet is enough to produce as much energy as a thousand pounds of coal. 